Our goal was to create the greenest car in the world and put one in every driveway in the world. And we took the car outside and we couldn't get down the driveway. I think a lot of guys are being uh, modest here and uh, underestimating the capabilities of what this vehicle will do. Well, someone is going to make a car like this because uh, the world just has to start using less energy. Oh, my word. That is amazing. Our goal was to create the greenest car in the world and put one in every driveway in the world. We called it Irby because uh, it's an urban electric car and we thought that every urban center would benefit from a car like this. Think of uh, this uh, Irby as perhaps the Model T of the 21st century or perhaps the Volkswagen Beetle. These were very frugal cars that, that had a worldwide popularity. And as far as transportation goes and the car specifically, I use horsepower as my guide. True progress is when you have less horsepower, not more. If you have a big car, uh, you're going to use about this much energy per day on those kind of trips. And if you have a mid-sized car, you're going to use about this much energy on those trips. And uh, if you ever buy our car one day, you'd use about this much energy. Okay, and what's inside of Irby? Two people sitting, one the driver. We cover those people with the most aerodynamic body we can think of. It has a pointed tail. We truncate the tail uh, to make it more practical. We add three wheels because we don't need the fourth wheel. We make the rear wheel steering so that the underneath of the car is, stays completely aerodynamic. We power the two front wheels with some electric motors. We put the batteries in the right place to get a nice uh, balance to the vehicle. And we add a small little internal combustion engine for emergencies and for on the highway. And when you add that all together, it looks something like this. When we pulled that curtain off after Jim's speech to an audience of 300 people who just went ecstatic and couldn't wait to you know, come and take a look at it. And uh, yeah, that, that feeling was amazing. And I remembered all the photos going off and everybody taking pictures and I'm going, oh my goodness, I think we just unveiled Irby to uh, Manitoba. To do it in Winnipeg to our hometown crowd and I think it's the first time that it was ever really recognized in Winnipeg to be a serious venture. Our entire team was overwhelmed by the reaction to the unveiling at TEDx and overcome with relief that we had finally finished the first prototype. And a few days later, we took Irby out for a team celebration and a final test run. This project is, is more than just a, about a car, it's about a, a great bunch of friends that uh, um, we've all got our own special talents and our own, uh, our own quirks, but uh, I think through this project I've probably met some of the best people in the world. The project seems to attract just amazingly good people. That's what I like about it. I think that's what we'll all kind of remember about it. You're going to control the speed. Don't do a That's speed run. Okay. Just go slow. That I think Jim, as I guess the, the leader of the group, is just uh, an unbelievable role model for, uh, for all of us. The group that we've assembled is, is remarkable. Um, what we've accomplished on very little funding is unbelievable when you step back and look at it. And uh, um, the talent, the dedication, unbelievable. We're probably better known throughout the U.S. than we are in Winnipeg. We've been to many shows where it almost felt like we were celebrities because people were just coming to the show to see the car. Uh, yet when uh, we talk about it here in Winnipeg, everyone says, well, oh, that's nice. To be frank, we have not had the kind of reaction locally that I think we deserve at times. 
you could sit back and look at all those people who uh, who said that it could be done and just say, yep, you said it could be done, but we've done it. I just want to see a second prototype. A friend of mine used to say that Rev A of every design sucks. <laughs> and uh, I wouldn't say Rev A of this design sucks, but uh, I think Rev B will be uh, infinitely better. The second prototype takes quite a bit more funding than the first for, for various reasons. That's Irby 2. Irby 2. And if we got in the order of like say a million dollars or some number like that, then Irby 2 it would be a distinct possibility. I'd like to see it happen. I'd like to see it happen here in Manitoba. We're known for being very quiet about what things go on in Winnipeg. I would like to see Manitoba make some noise. This is a project that I, I believe should happen. This is a car that we should all be driving. Well, someone is going to make a car like this because uh, the world just has to start using less energy. And uh, I'd like that uh, to be us.